Hello, in this presentation we're looking at Gravity Forms, the product and payment options that are available in Gravity Forms Developers Edition. In this presentation we're going to be looking at the creation of order forms, booking forms and such the like. We use product fields, value fields, option fields and total fields which are part of the Gravity Forms system. But with the developers edition we can integrate that with a payment processor. We'll be talking about PayPal integration here to take payments with the PayPal but other payment processes are also available, Authorize.net and Stripe. So the best thing to do really is to get into a live demonstration, so let's do that. Right, this is my demonstration site and I set up some examples of various things we can do with Gravity Forms. We'll start with a simple form where we've just collected the name, the email address and an item which we can put a quantity to and when we hit the submit button we're taken to PayPal. So let's show you how that works. If we go back to the page that created it, we just had this short code. All gravity forms are added to pages and posts by the insertion of a short code. So this is gravity form ID 1. It's going to show the title and the description. So we go to gravity forms where I've created some examples for you. We go to ID 1, there, simple payment let's have a look at how it's made up and that's all it is there's a name an email address and a product field so the product field has a description and it has a price the quantity field is not disabled so you can enter a quantity and that's how you enter your products I'll show you some more examples before I actually uh, jump into building one for you. So let's go to the menu and that might keep me in the right order. So what about a multi-choice product? So this product has three choices and you can see that the price is changing depending on the product. Suppose we want to add a quantity field to that. Well, we can have a quantity field, so now I can put in one green widget. I can put in three green widgets. I've even got the system here to stop me going above nine, so that won't. Except it didn't. But we can also make it more complicated by saying, OK, so we want uh, two widgets, but we would like the option of a presentation or gift wrapped. I'll have a presentation box, please. And we want to really get complicated. I'll have a super widget. I'll have it in a presentation box. I'll have a small bottle of cleaning fluid. No, I'll have a large bottle of cleaning fluid and if I ask for a large bottle of cleaning fluid I can actually then take the option of a second half price.
So let's start from scratch and I'll show you how we build one. Just need a name for it for reference. Now this is telling us to add some fields. Now the first thing I want to do is I don't want to use this standard field so I want to go to advanced fields and I want to add a name. I just click on it and it's added over here and I want an email address. They're the two basic details I want for a um, for an order. I could also ask for an address as well. So that gives me my details about the prospective purchaser. Now I go to the pricing fields and this is where we have the fun. So we have to have a product field if we're going to use the system. Without the product field nothing else works. So this is the product field and if we open it up we can have a look at it. So we have a name of the product. Let's get rid of that so it doesn't get in your way. And then we can set a price. And that's just a single product, which you've seen already. We can also make a drop down product. So now I can have multiple options. I get a preview and show you that therefore allows me to have three versions of my product. The thing is that makes no sense because we don't have a total. We don't know how much we're paying so we just add a total field at the bottom, update the form, preview again and now that makes a bit more sense. If you want to add a quantity to that, then there's a quantity form. Right, which everything's added to the bottom, so that doesn't make sense. Perhaps we'll put it at the top. And there we have, so we can say three of those. And there's the total. You're not actually limited though to defining one product, you can define more products if you want to. So here's another product. And I want a quantity for that one as well. I'll drag a quantity above. Now the one thing I have to do is make sure that this quantity field is referring to the product I want it to. So I want it to refer to another product, which is this one. And I want to put the total back at the bottom. Update form. So if I preview that, we have product there, we have a product there, uh, I don't think we actually set any prices for those products did we? No we didn't. Easy. We can make very complicated forms, more complicated than we can probably cope with.
once we have the form we're happy with we want to set up these settings so the confirmations is the message the person's going to get which is usually written at the default one for a form that's going to make no sense at all that probably would make more sense your notifications are emails that are being sent to in this case the admin you can add more to inform of the order just sends all the fields and the PayPal one allows us to set up a feed to make the PayPal go to PayPal and that's my test account for PayPal and then I can the bidding information, I can take some of the information people have asked or I've asked for and pass it through to PayPal so the customer doesn't have to type in again Yeah, do not prompt the buyer to include a shipping address. Do not add a note. Then notification when the paint's received rather than when it's been ordered. And that now that form is now done. So if I create a new page and I Select our new form. We should have another order ready to go. There it is. Up three of those. Hit submit. it goes to PayPal. Now I need to just pull up some details for my login and password for my PayPal demo account. There we are. You can hit pay now. Payments been made. This is the sandbox so there's no actual money flying around. Take us back to the store, and there's our message we put there. Thank you for your order. If we go into the dashboard and we go for the forms, you can see our live demo here. Results it should be one order. There it is. Let me look at the entries view we can see all the order details and we see the payment message from PayPal payment transaction completed so you can see that this is a very powerful system and it's also so damn easy to use so gravity forms is available from the gravity forms website version 1.9 um, multi-site will support we, is supported uh, for the development version. It is the top selling forms product and you will need the developers version to do um, the level of things that we've done today. $199 a year but uh, they've been giving us a half price renewal ever since we purchased it. So for these payments and this flexibility and all the other clever things you can do with Gravity Forms, see my other videos, I still think it's great value for money. So thank you very much for watching.